But now we go to the city's K2 crisis. Governor Cuomo and Police Commissioner Bratton today vowing to crack down on the burgeoning drug problem. Local business owners and community leaders say they are fed up and demanding action. A day after CBS2 first showed you a Bronx neighborhood inundated with people apparently using the toxic synthetic marijuana, today it was business as usual. CBS2's political reporter Marsha Kramer with more. K2 Alley at Willis Avenue at 149th Street in the Bronx was still living up to its name today, with some users zoned out in zombie-like trances and others exhibiting strange behaviors, one inexplicably prancing around with a bowling ball. They should move them somewhere. They got to make for them something to live. So they cannot be on the street. They can't mess up people's business. So they cannot beg anybody for the money. The K2 users scattered suddenly when two cops from the 40th Precinct showed up. The cops telling CBS2 that their bosses sent them there to try to figure out which businesses were selling the drug. This after CBS2 showed how easy it was to obtain K2. There's different name brands. There's different names for them. But... It was all the same thing. This man told me that for three dollars he could get some K2, and within minutes he was back with this thin brown cigarette of K2. It's apparently the drug of choice of the neighborhood. Some call it a bamboo stick. And with the problem spiraling in neighborhood after neighborhood, Police Commissioner William Bratton vowed to go after people, the businesses who he said were attempting to poison their customers. For Bratton, identifying the neighborhood sellers is step one. We're coming after you. We're coming after you big time. We're going to use every tool we have. Governor Cuomo is promising economic sanctions, saying that businesses caught selling K2 will lose the ability to sell state lottery tickets and sell liquor. Any uh, store owner who is even thinking of distributing this product, you better think again. So you want to hit them where it hurts economically. That's exactly right. You know, look, they're selling this product because they're making money. Okay. If you take the risk of selling this product, I want to say to the store owners, we're going to revoke your state licenses. Well, the governor also says he intends to send the state police to New York City neighborhoods to conduct their own investigations. Dana. You're keeping an eye on it. I know, Marcia. Thank you.